Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about using the screener in my stock scanner to get some really good stocks with good value that have good earnings quality and that are in an uptrend. You can ask yourself in the current market where everything is going down are there really that many of these stocks and uh, well I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm starting as always with my stock scanner here. It's free to use so it's a link uh, in the video below. And uh, I'm going into screeners in here. And if you have seen my earlier videos, you know that uh, you can build a lot of different screens here. But we are just starting a new screener today. Um, and we will edit the rules and we can call it, I don't know, value plus quality plus trend. Then we know a bit about what it is all about. We'll add some rules to it. And first of all, um, I'll just click here to select. I will start with some uh, market cap. Uh, I don't want to find the smallest of the smallest stocks. Uh, there are several reasons for that. Um, let's see, we'll just choose dollars here. Um, and we will use United States like this. Um, the reason why I'm using a certain size of the stock is that, first of all, I might choose to uh, buy and sell some options around them and the smaller stocks are usually not as liquid on the option market but I also want to get some good solid companies it seems like in the market we're in right now that there's a lot of focus on size so um, we will put let's say four billion dollars in here as a market cap greater uh, than or equal to uh, four thousand million dollars so four billion dollars that still leaves us with tons and tons of stocks so we will add some more rules um i did say that we want some trend in here so let's add a rule and say we want the tpi uh, the long term the tpi trend update here we want that in an uptrend so now you can see that you can see trend and weekly and daily here so this one is a long-term trend and uh, they are all in dark green here so yes we now have only stocks that are in a long-term uptrend okay so let's have a look at the value we'll just delete that and let's have a look at the estimates because if we're looking at analyst estimates upside meaning that if they are uh, doing what the analysts are are estimating it's not sure they will but we're just saying that if they will um let's say analyst estimates upside here we want that to be greater than 10 percent so that if the estimates are holding through uh, and the price earning is where we expect it to be then there is at least a uh, let me see did i choose the right one here I actually want for next year so we're looking actually two earnings report in advance here I want that to be with at least 10% upside some of them will have a far larger upside uh, and some of them some of the numbers will be a bit skewed we'll see that in a second but um, uh, that gives us something to work with all right that is the quality uh, sorry the the uh, the value part of it then we will add some uh, quality I think let's see the stock scores i want the country quality score now should you choose a, a score where the stock is is compared to the country or should you use it for regional well when it's u.s stocks it doesn't matter too much because country is united states region is uh, north america so it, it won't matter but if you are uh, looking at stocks in a in a very small country, it could be Denmark where I live, it could be Luxembourg or I don't know Estonia, something like that, where where there's actually not that many stocks to compare with, then it will be smarter to choose the region and say I want to compare to Europe. So uh, we're looking at the country quality score here. And that should be greater than, let's say, 85, meaning that the quality of this company should be better than 85% of the other stocks that it compares with. All right, that is a quality. Um, <clears throat> I might want to put an extra thing in, but that is because I am quite fond of people of, of stocks that have a good um, price to free cash flow. I really like the 
uh, the free cash flow part. And if you're looking at uh, some uh, research on it, it also shows that free cash flow is a very important factor. Free cash flow is, in my opinion, better than price earning because it shows how much actual cash the, the company has to work with and not just price earnings that can be manipulated in all sorts of ways. So price to free cash flow, um, we might want to set that, uh, I don't know about high, but let's put it at 25, meaning that the actual cash flow yield is 4%. <clears throat> all right, we have ended out with some stocks here. Um, and um, there, re there are a lot to, to choose from as long as we're looking at the US market. If we looked at Denmark, there might not be that many. Let's just um, sort them from a market cap here. Yes, I just realized that, of course, I will need to change this one. I have put the price to free cash flow to be greater than 25. I actually want it to be less than or equals to 25, of course, uh, because otherwise it'll give us a, a more overpriced uh, company. So just my mistake. Sorry. Uh, but we have the list here. We have sorted it from uh, uh, market cap. And as you can see, there are some fairly well known names here. We have Meta. We have United Health Group. We have a Broadcom, a Dope, SAP, Lockheed Martin and stuff. We can choose to have another layout. If we want some uh, quality layout here, we can see, first of all, we can see the, the country quality score. It is, of course, high. We can see the TPI trend and we can see a lot of the sales growth, uh, uh, operating margins, um, earnings per share growth over the last five years and so on. And uh, we might want to disqualify some of the stocks uh, because they are showing some negative numbers here. But if we just start out, if I press Meta here, um, you can see I have all the results here from the uh, from the screener. So I can just go through them. But Meta, we can see, uh, first of all, the value score is fairly low. But that is because it's looking at the uh, the price earning and so on right now and backwards in time. Whereas the value I was looking at was forward in time saying all right what are the estimates and uh, if they hold through what is the potential of the stock then but we can see that even though meta is actually a very large company they they are not and they are in the tech sector they're not at an insane amount of of uh, in the pe ratio the peg ratio where you're taking price earning and divided by expected future growth is is only 0.8 i'll usually say that two two and a half is is the max and it should be below that so 0.8 is very good um we can see that return on capital equity operating margin is great bankruptcy risk is basically zero uh we can see that free cash flow is good uh, interest coverage is insane and so on and so forth so I'm not talking about stocks here that you should go in for a swing and just say, I'll be in for a week and make a profit. This is more if you're in the longer term and you're saying, I both want a reasonable trend. I know you can argue, is this really a trend? Um, but that is how the, the long term TPI it, it is looking further back. Uh, and if the stock starts to drop here, it might go out of that long term trend. So we never know that. But the quality of the company is undeniable. We can take the next one here. UNH, uh, United Health Group Incorporated here. Uh, you can see some very good numbers again. You can see the PE ratio peg is very nice. Um, you can see it's overall a good quality company reasonable returns um we have some free cash flow that is growing so overall we can go through them and of course you can always go into the income statement cash flow statement and so on if you really want to go in depth with the with the fundamentals but here you should have a lot of uh, inspiration for your own research and you might do your own technical analysis on them and so on and so forth um this is just to show you how to build a very simple screener just saying market cap above 4 billion, TPI trend up, a reasonable upside uh, compared to the analyst estimates, country quality good, uh, price to free cash flow below 25, uh, and then we are sorting from, from, uh, large, uh, from uh, market cap. And uh, you can vary them as much as you want. You don't have to take my screening criteria here. This was just to show you uh, how to get an idea of 
where how do I find the good quality stocks in an uptrend. I hope this made sense. Otherwise, just send me a note underneath the YouTube video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. I'll talk to you again shortly. And until then, take care of yourself and your money out there. I'll talk to you. Bye.